Hey everybody, I'm Rocco Despirito, and I'm glad you're back because today we're going to talk about one of my favorite subjects, flavor. And the great thing about the Mediterranean is that there's always flavor. We're going to try to recreate some of that, and the way you do it is with something I call flavor detonators. Uh, you can turn a dish from a 5 to a 10 with the addition of one teaspoon of some of these ingredients. I don't know if you guys know this, but just like three primary colors make all the colors in the world, four primary flavors make all the flavors in the world. Sour, salt, sweet, bitter. Let's start with herbs. You know, one thing Bertoli does is they use a lot of fresh herbs in their pasta. The most you ubiquitous ones are the parsley and the basil. This is fresh thyme and this is fresh rosemary. As they dry out, their flavor concentrates. So you can actually put this herb on the top of your stove and let it dry out and as it dries out you can continue to use it. Their fresh flavor detonators and herbs are the ones that come to mind immediately. Obviously garlic is another one. Uh, sometimes people don't want to go through the trouble of peeling and, and crushing and chopping garlic. So for those people, I suggest you use garlic puree. Another paste that I like to use is tomato paste. In a tube versus in a can, it's got a fresher quality to it. You can already see how much brighter the color is. Okay, here are some more. Dijon mustard. Capers. Canned soup. The thing is, there's some great canned soup out there. And I'm gonna use this lentil soup in the dish I'm making as an ingredient. The cool thing about my family is that, you know, they basically recreated their Italian lifestyle in New York. Uh, my grandmother had uh, a chicken coop, a rabbit hutch. She had fig trees, not just black fig trees, but also white fig trees. You know, nectarines and peaches, apples and pears. She really went all out. Now, if you look in her pantry, you'll see jars that look just like this of eggplant, of tomatoes, of peppers, of tomatoes with basil, of herbs. She made her own flavor detonators. Yeah, today we're gonna make uh, what I call red, green, and white cod. That's a little play on the Italian flag too, by the way. The cod's white, the peppers are red, and the lentil soup's green. Um, now, the cod that I'm using is chunked, uh, and I'm drying it, because if it's wet, the pan will have to evaporate all that water before it's able to cook. So let's get started. Now, I don't know if you noticed this, but when I season with salt, I do it from very high, because I want the salt to spread out very evenly. A little pepper, a little olive oil. That sizzle means it's browning. Now the, the recipe calls for fresh garlic. I'm just gonna use this tube garlic because I like it. So what's gonna happen is when I turn the cod over, the garlic will season the cod and won't burn because I'm gonna put the rest of the ingredients in there. And you wanna barely cook this fish because it cooks fast and you don't want it to be overcooked by the time the rest of the ingredients heat up. The other thing that goes in here are these pimentos. This is a little lentil soup. I'm gonna add some capers. And this dish is done. It's actually fantastic. Some chopped parsley. You could, you could put almost any herb in here and it would be great. Thyme would be fantastic in here. I can smell the combination of flavors actually happening. It tastes fantastic, I love it. This recipe will be in the blog and a more comprehensive list of flavor detonators will also be on the blog. Well, yeah, I know you want to try it. I haven't even have to ask you. Go for it. That fish is amazing. So listen, we got this great contest going on. Uh, I'm looking for a co-host for my online cooking show. So send in your videos, and uh, we'll pick one of you, and we'll do, we'll do a cooking show together. The great thing about these flavor detonators is it allows everybody to go from, you know, a cook craftsman to a cook artist. And you don't need to be a pro chef. You don't need to have cooked even once before in your life. All you have to do is taste any of these, and you know what to do with it. See you next time.